let us see the beautiful question from our transformer actually that was uh, this question was asked in your bar exam that is bar interview actually not in exam the question is there is a single phase transformer in this single phase transformer on the primary on the same limb same limb two single phase supply is injected supply is injected right now you have to command the operation enna nadakkum abingiradha ni explain pannum right okay let me explain but before 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 looking at the operation of this transformer let me explain the basic principle of the transformer for transformer enna nadakkudha abin paakala actually what will happen so step number 1 for example here i am considering 10 voltage some 10 voltage one supply is there this 10 voltage will produce some current definitely it will produce some current now according to right hand thumb rule according to right hand thumb rule if your current is being injected in this direction then your thumb indicates the flux production direction right so from this i can say definitely this current will produce some flux yes or no of course now transformer is a constant flux device yes sir same amount of flux appo enna avadhu or flux and produce avadhu appo this flux is started traveling like this now what will happen on the secondary side and the primary side a constant flux is started running like this of course this flux will going to induce some voltage on the primary number of turns and it will going to induce some voltage on the secondary number of turns now the amount of voltage that will be induced on the primary side let me consider e1 and the amount of voltage that will be induced due to this flux on the secondary side let me consider e2 of course that is correct next to what will happen suppose if i will connect any loads here if i will connect some loads here then this loads will consume some current right yeah it will take some current then what will happen this secondary current will produce one more flux in the opposite direction why sir my secondary current is going like this then the flux will be thumb indicates it that is my thumb indicates the direction of the flux if your current is leaving if it is going outside then what will happen in the opposite side one more flux will be produced right a opposite side la produce our flux let me call it as phi now what will happen same amount in the amount of flux will produce also adhe amount of flux will end up in the primary like a pudusa induced amount so in the primary the same amount of flux opposite will induced amount in the opposite the same amount of flux will produce from the other way your transformer will consume one more current let me call it as i dash now what will happen now for this i2 here the corresponding current is going to be called as i2 for a better understanding i2 that is going to be i2 dash right why why there is how much amount of current that we are taking here that is amount of current inga nam output la evlo current eduthukomo and the output oda corresponding current and the input la the transformer eduthukom appo enna panna vendina the output current evlo flux undi inga produce pannudho adhe amount of flux opposite la inda current produce panni in resultant pi 2 and pi 2 dash getting cancel once again the no load flux will become constant so what is the conclusion whether your transformer is connected with the load or without load it does not matter inside of this transformer always this flux is constant if you are connecting more amount of load of course based on the load your current will be there based on the current your flux opposite flux will be generated based on this opposite flux same amount of flux will be generated opposite to this flux here appo in the flux produce pannadha current and the transformer inga irundhu eduthukku appo enna nadakkum appadina neenga evlo load avana connect panikonga evlo current avana inga eduthukonga neenga edukkara current ki evlo flux undi inga generate avado i mean inga generate avado adhe flux und primary side la inga opposite la generate avum and then the transformer enna eduthukku appadina inda flux produce inda flux ku opposite la equal ana magnitude of produce pannadha ki thevana current inga irundhu eduthukku so what will happen in this time the flux produced by this current right is going to be in the current and then the in the current all produce some flux and getting cancel appo enna avo transformer no load la irundha po evlo flux avundha no load in the sense without connecting the load evlo flux irundha adhe flux undi per circulate avum and there is almost this remains constant so that's why your transformer is called a constant flux device so this is the basic operation of our single phase transformer of course let us getting back now take this transformer right so in this transformer what will happen in this case i kept only one voltage yes or no yes but in this case we have two voltages but see observe this things here sir i have two voltages yes but two different voltages one is 230 voltage another one is 200 voltage what will happen here so let us assume let us assume so this is the question now just pause the video once you have to try you should think what will happen we are injecting we are injecting two different supply voltage we have two different different supply voltages now what will happen anyway your transformer is going to work as a constant flux device right so now if i am going to do now for a for understanding now if i am going to connect 200 voltage inject pannu just as you that is first case i am activating this voltage source now what will happen why i am taking this one out of here i have 230 here i have 200 which is the least one 200 is less than 230 so just i am taking and just i am analyzing i am going with the small voltage now for a while understanding this 200 voltage will produce some current 
right now it will produce some flux right for example ipo na enna konna adina 200 voltage nam produce panna bodu inga vandu number of flux lines vandu 100 lines vandu nam vechikla number of flux lines are going to be 100 right now the same 100 flux lines will start traveling through this coil of course it will come like this so the conclusion is in this transformer 100 flux lines are circulating inside the coil because of this 200 supply voltage now let me conclude for our minus <coughs> load so because of this 200 voltage of course sir because of this 200 voltage what will happen guys sir, for a better understanding for minus load enough for a 200 turns and the other number of turns on the 200 and the other right then what will happen so because of this 200 voltage right some amount of flux lines will be created here let me simply consider 5 right i know that is the other lines on the body circle now what will happen each and every turns will going to be in the flux on the other one all turns will be on the other one now when you have 200 voltage for this let us assume 200 voltage is going to be produced here induced here induced voltage is going to be 200 simple as one of the applied voltage is 200 some current only on the other one i know you know 200 flux lines on the other one 200 flux lines right Right, up and now, you know, the 200 flux lines are going to take responsibility for the 200 voltage. Right, of course, that is correct on this side. Right, so the next case, what will happen? Same 200 flux lines will start flowing through the transmission line. Of course, this is correct now. Now, take the second case. Again, I am injecting 230 voltage. Now, what will happen? Simple as 200 voltage, 200 flux lines, 200 voltage will be induced. Super, sir. If you have a transformer line, the other flux on the production line, only 200 flux line is circulating here. Super sir. When the moment we are injecting 230 voltage, then what will happen? This 230 voltage will produce 230 flux lines. But what is the flux demanded by the transformer? Now it has only 200 lines. Now what will happen? Here I am injecting 230 voltage. So 230 line. Actually I am going to how many? How many lines going here? Only 200 flux lines is going here. Up and now out of 230 flux lines, only I am going to 200 flux lines. Transformer will rotate on the flux lines over of the Madina, 200 Madina. Why? Because actually what will happen? Transformer on the end of the Madina, and the cable of flux is there, and the Madina supply is there. No load will be from a load in the mechanic. Up a transformer on the end of the end of the morning, a supply will be there, and I have 200 flux lines on the Ulla flow of the wind solar. Now on the flow, 200 flux lines will flow. In supply, you will have a transformer will do. It will take this some amount of current, it will take some amount of no-load current and it will produce corresponding flux. In the core, you will have a flux and flux will be able to circulate the flux. Right? So, but the problem is, so in the core, you will have a flux lines only 200 flux lines. But because of this extra amount of voltage, because of this extra amount of voltage, extra 30 lines will be generated here. Now, what will happen? This extra 30 lines generation will create extra 230 voltage here. Then what will happen? Here, totally you will get 230 voltage, right? This 230 voltage will tries to produce 230 flux lines. Up in our row, here it will become, actually here, 200 voltage has to generate for these 200 flux lines. But because of this extra 30 flux lines, here, here, low voltage generated only 200, but 230 voltage line will be generated. 230 voltage will be induced because of this supply, because of this extra flux lines, extra voltage will be induced. This extra voltage will what will, what will happen? Reverse the direction of the current flow. So, in a slow ring, current will be directed from higher potential point to higher potential point now. So, since this 230 voltage will become greater than the value of 200 voltage, so the current is started circulating in the opposite direction. So, in resultant, this transformer, this supply will inject the current like this. This transformer, sorry, this supply will start absorbing the current. So, there is a short circuit happen here. It will become like this. Yeah? A dead short, dead short circuit will happen. Are you getting me? So, when I rotate, it will start working as a load. So, your current is started circulating here. So, current is started circulating here. That is what will happen. I hope you all have understood. So, sir, in short circuit down, sir. So, tremendous current is started supplying. So, we can, or after you waiting, I transfer on the heat, I am going to be bound. Clear? So, that is what will happen in this case. So, in our house, in the case of the you have to apply the same amount of voltage. If you are applying two different voltage on the same coil, then what will happen? That is, the, that is the problem here. So, if you go to two different voltages, you will come up with a short circuit. Again, not only voltage, sir, now two different, same voltage are sir. Voltage is same. Up and now, one transformer on the other, you flux lines there, you flux lines there. Don't think, if the 200 voltage are there, the 200 lines are there, you see, you see, transformer light, it might be 100 lines, 50 lines, transformer, you have lines, 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 you
230 supply kudu bodu enna nadakku extra lines will start at, will start at circulate idu andu ulle try pannu ulle flow aga try pannu and the time enna padina and the extra 30 lines will it will take more extra current that more extra current what will happen because of the idra andu more extra current ulle vara try pannu that more extra current will start at. because of see that here we have wire potential here we have wire potential so the direction of the current idhe vote inge dis kadu but supply is only 200 na current will be directed from wire potential point to wire potential point so we have a supply here because of the extra flux because of the extra yaw of detection current is started circulating in the opposite direction so this one will become a source this one will become a load so there is a dead star circuit happening here that's a problem here i hope now you might get a very clear idea so in the same way sir apart two different voltage in the problem at the same time two different phase angles provide panni problem problem la same problem will appear right so because of the phase angle difference you will come up with the same issues clear so that is how we are analyzing our single phase problem